Hello everybody. So I did a full intro for this video. I'm just doing a voiceover right now and then it will be a talk through tutorial. But I did a full intro for this video and somehow the footage was not working properly. So the point of this makeup tutorial was I wanted to recreate this look that I saw on Kendall Jenner. It's a really nice kind of light makeup tutorial and I say light in the sense that for me I use pretty much like under four or five eyeshadows. So it's very light on the eyes and it has a really beautiful bold lip. So I thought it'd be perfect time for the summertime I should say and for a date night or whatever you guys are interested in wearing this for so again I don't know what happened to my footage I tried 50,000 times to export it and import it and it didn't work so let's get into the tutorial all right guys so to start off this look I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes I'm using my Urban Decay Power Potion in original and then we'll start with the shadows so for today's look I think I'm gonna use my Lorac Pro palette the first one uh, because from what I can see on her eyes are just very matte they're very soft very natural so I'm first gonna go in with the shade uh, cream actually <laughs> and I'm gonna first put this down as my brow bone highlight I'm using my Sigma Dome blending e43 brush so after that I'm then gonna take my Sigma e40 blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade taupe and this is gonna be our transition shade so I'm going in very lightly at first and blending it right into the crease I'm also gonna kind of flick it out a little bit on the outer corner because that's what I see in Kendall's eye so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that right into the crease and then to add a little bit more definition I'm then gonna go in with sable which is this color right here and I'm taking my Mac 217 brush I'm gonna just lightly apply this a little bit at a time into my crease this eye look is very very soft and so we want to keep it soft so I'm going in with a little bit of pigment at a time and you can build it up to your liking you can go a little bit deeper if you want but I'm just gonna go a little bit at a time another thing you can do if you're not a fan of doing like kind of flicking out the outer corner just take a little bit of tape and you can line it up but this will help you out if you don't like to really if you feel like you don't have control with your brush you can have it just like that and then start to go in with your shadows like that going back with my big fluffy brush and just really making sure this is nice and blended now for the lid shade, I'm going to take my Medium Sweeper E54 and I'm going to go back in with the shade Cream from the Little Rock palette and I'm going to put this all over the lid because there was just a very, like I said, this look is very soft so what I see is just a matte shade on her lid. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over. And then back with my blending brush with no product on it, I'm just going to go lightly back and forth just to blend that color into the eye look. Now, I don't know if this is correct or not. I'm gonna take the tape off as well. Um, I do see a little bit of black along her upper, water, upper lash line, so I am gonna do a very, very light wing, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Fine Line Liquid Liner, and I'm just gonna create a very, very thin wing. I'm gonna zoom you out a little just since it's so difficult to film a wing, so I'm gonna zoom out like this, focus, and hopefully this will help a little. <laughs> That was, in a sense, a total disaster. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is just sort of soften the um, liner a little bit more. I am gonna go in with my E15 Flat Definer Brush by Sigma. I am gonna go in with the black in this palette and just go back and forth to just soften up this liner a little bit just so it's not so crazy and so intense. And then for lashes today, I'm gonna go in with these one. These are by House of Lashes and they are in the style Heartbreaker. All right, guys, the so lashes are on. They're very light. Um, I think they look nice. I don't know if I'm 100% in love with them, but I think that they look nice. So I'm just going to leave them for now. Um, so first we're going to go in with primer. I'm using my LC Pearl Radiance Primer. Been loving this recently, especially in the really, really hot summer days. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over. And then to cover up all the stubborn spots I have on my face, I'm going in with my Becca Backlight Targeted Color Corrector in this shade Pistachio. I want to cover up this redness, so I'm going in with a green color corrector. And then for my foundation today, I'm gonna to go in. And for my foundation today, I'm gonna to go in with two. I'm mixing two. One they actually don't make anymore, so I apologize. But this has been my go-to like foundation um, mixture recently. I've been loving it. So first, I go in with my Makeup Forever High Definition Foundation. Now this is the old one that they discontinued. They don't make it anymore. The shade that I'm using is N153. And then to mix a little bit because this, obviously, as you can see, is way way too dark for me. I'm gonna to go in with one drop of the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And this one is in the shade Light 2 Mont Blanc. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix these two shades together. I'm doing two pumps of the Makeup Forever and one pump of my NARS. Mixing them together and then that will give me my color. I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over the face with my Sigma Concealer Brush. 
Um, next, I'm going to go with my Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair. Next, I'm going to go in with my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm just going to go ahead and set under the eyes. I'm going to set my smile lines, pretty much my whole face. Ugh, I got that in my mouth. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera since I've done them a million times. I'm going in with my Sigma Brow Duo in Medium. To bronze up the skin, I'm going in with my Becca Bronzer. This is in Bronze Bondi. And then I'm actually going to contour just very, very lightly. But at the same time, I want to contour. I mean, in Kendall's picture, it really looks like she bronzed. Um, but I want to contour just a little bit more just to define my face. And I feel like when you wear red lipstick, like she's wearing and like we will wear, um, the red really is, of course, the focal point. So you really want to kind of chisel out your cheeks when you do a really intense color like that, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going in with my Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and just contour a little bit. Not too crazy, but I do want to really make sure it's nice and chiseled as I talk like this. I don't really see too much blush on Kendall, like not really intense color I think. So I'm going to go in with a very neutral blush. This is my favorite by NARS in the shade Madly. And I'm going to take my Spotlight Duster F37 brush by Sigma and just lightly add a little bit of color. I don't really see too, too much color. So I'm just adding a little bit of this to give color, but not have it too much. And it kind of blends in nicely with the contour. And then for highlight, I don't see a really crazy highlight, but I do see a little bit of gold. And my favorite color to use when it comes to like a brown lip is brown lip. A red lip is gold. So I'm going in with my Saleha Give Me Glow Highlighter. This is in the shade Hollywood Gold. And I'm just going to go very lightly like this, right on top with my highlighter. See a little bit on the forehead as well. So I'm just going to add... A little bit not too much because for me my forehead does get a little bit shiny and oily so i'm just gonna add just a little bit i say a little bit i'll highlight i'm so glowing like a disco ball and now to finish up the eyes i'm just gonna go in with some of the sable in this palette put it right along the lower lash line i don't even see that she has liner in the waterline so i'm gonna go with outliner today um but i am gonna make sure i put a good amount of shadow I'm gonna go up with this shadow as well just to connect it with the wing but also connect it with our shadows that are going up as well so i'm just gonna go like that and then to finish up the eyes i'm gonna go in with some mascara i'm gonna apply a good coat of this to my lower lashes like i said i don't see anything in the waterline for her just so that the eyes looked more um you know pronounced and everything so i'm just gonna put a good coat of this make sure you take your time because we aren't doing liner so the mascara can get on the waterline it will ruin the look so just really take your time when you do this Okay, so now for the red. I see that Kendall, which I love with a red lip, is you go in with kind of a darker lip liner and then you blend them into each other. So I'm gonna go in with MAC Cyber World and I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with that. I'm gonna start to kind of blend it down into my lipstick as well, or my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and define the outer corners as well. Okay, and once that is down, I'm gonna go in with a little, little bit of Cherry Lip Liner by MAC. And I'm gonna start to blend Cyber World into this a little bit as well, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going like this. Just like that, and just blending the colors together. And then for our lipstick, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade American Doll.